need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Hello and welcome to Teach you Comp Incorporated's introductory OneNote course. This OneNote course covers the same material as our classroom training and was designed to provide a solid foundation in OneNote. Microsoft OneNote is a terrific program that allows for free-form information gathering, storage, and sharing. OneNote is most effective when used on a regular basis. By taking the time to create a consistent set of data collection and storage practices, OneNote will allow you to easily locate stored information when and where you need it. With Microsoft OneNote, you can collect, save, and protect your information all in one place. OneNote can be used to take notes in a meeting or class, organize information in a logical and personalized way, and search for information when you need it. Mastering OneNote Made Easy is a comprehensive course for those who are interested in learning to use OneNote in an effective and efficient manner. We'll begin the course by exploring the OneNote interface and learning about the various parts of the application. From there, we will explore how to create and configure notebooks, create and organize notes, and share the information that you create and gather with others. Let's go ahead and get started. What we see here is the initial screen when you start the OneNote application. When you start OneNote for the first time, the program opens a sample notebook called Personal. In the future, when you start the application, the notebook you worked on last will be open instead. The OneNote storage structure resembles that of a tabbed notebook. Now the beauty of OneNote is that you can customize the organization based on your personal tastes and needs. For example, you might have one notebook for personal information and one for work. Or you might have one notebook for each project you work on. It's really up to you. Each notebook you create is divided into sections, and each section is then divided into pages. Once the application and notebook are open, you can view information about the notebook in four areas of the OneNote application window. Let's take a look. First, we have the Notebook drop-down navigation at the top of the program window, which displays buttons for the notebooks that you create. You use the drop-down to select a notebook by simply clicking on it. You'll see that drop-down right here at the top. Give it a click and you'll see the available notebooks. We'll go ahead and give one a click to switch. That easy. Now in versions prior to 2013, notebooks were instead displayed in a collapsed navigation bar at the left side of the application interface. In version 2013, you can access and display the old navigation by clicking the pin button in the notebook drop-down. Within this drop-down in the upper right hand corner there's a small button that says pin notebook pane to side. Give that a click and then we'll see the navigation bar here. Now that's also the same button that you use to collapse that if you want to. It's now right to the right of the notebook's name right there. Now the navigation bar is collapsed by default, only displaying a button for each notebook. But you can easily switch between notebooks in the navigation bar by clicking on one of these buttons to display it. So we have our personal here, but we also have sample. We can just give that a click to switch to it. You can click the small downward pointing arrows to collapse and expand the contents of the notebook. See that that collapses it and then you can expand it and see what's in that particular notebook. You can then click on any of the areas within the notebook and you'll quickly jump to that particular section. Let's go ahead and we'll switch back to our personal notebook and we'll also go ahead and collapse the navigation bar. Now the content pane is the area in the center of the application window right here and it displays the active notebook page. For pages that you create, the page title appears in the title bar at the top of the program window right up here. 
Now just above the content pane is the notebook header, this area right up here. And that displays tabs of the various sections of the active notebook. You can easily jump to different areas of the notebook by simply clicking on those tabs. And you jump back and forth just that easily by giving them a click. The page tabs bar is located to the right of the content pane. It's located right over here and displays page tabs that you can click to easily move between pages of the active section. Here are your pages, you just give them a click. And so now we're moving within the pages of the section that we have selected over here. Now the other object that we'll examine is called the ribbon at the top of the application window, located right up here. This tool is where you will find all of the tabs, groups, and commands available for use within the program. Now for those that are upgrading from earlier versions of OneNote, you'll find that the ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars. If you're familiar with the ribbon, one thing to note that is different from other Office applications is that the ribbon is collapsed by default in OneNote to provide more space for the notebook page. You simply click on a tab to display the ribbon. Now selecting the file tab within the ribbon right here allows you to access the backstage view shared by Microsoft Office products. In the backstage view you'll find the most common file management commands such as creating a new notebook, saving notebooks, and also printing. We'll be looking at all of that in the upcoming lessons. Above the ribbon is the quick access toolbar located right up here. And you can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. Now you will notice several important buttons that are already set here such as back and undo. You can also easily remove buttons that you've added to this toolbar as well. We'll be looking at how to customize the quick access toolbar in an upcoming lesson. If you're upgrading to version 2013 from an earlier version, one of the things that you'll notice is a clean, fresh look to the user interface. OneNote 2013 provides support for touch-enabled Windows computers and devices so that you can use OneNote without the need for a keyboard. If you want to enlarge the space between buttons on the ribbon to make it easier to select options with your fingers, you can use the Touch Mouse Mode button. You can add the Touch Mode button to the Quick Access Toolbar so that you can switch between modes more easily. To do this, click or tap the down arrow on the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a small downward pointing arrow. Give that a click and then select the touch mouse mode right here to add it to the toolbar. Then you just tap or click the touch mouse mode button on the quick access toolbar and select the mode you want. Looks like a little hand touching a little screen there. You give that a click and then you can switch between mouse or touch and if you select touch then you'll see everything is spread out a little bit more to make it easier for use with fingers but you can switch back just as easily and that's the OneNote interface in the next lesson we'll be taking a look at some of the specific elements of the interface and how we can change them and customize them for our individual use like what you see get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.